What's up guys, my name's Noah, I make music as Haterade, and you are watching The Productive Producer. No camera today because I couldn't get it to work for this video. But that's alright, because you guys don't need to see my ugly mug. Anyways, we're talking about the EQ, and I'm going to show you guys three pretty cool tricks that you probably didn't know about the EQ. So, first one is the refresh rate. If you guys normally use your EQ like this, you can click this little triangle up here, and it opens up the big spectrum graph mode. And we can adjust the resolution and refresh rate of the spectrum analyzer as we listen to whichever sound we are EQing. So check this out. So I can bring this refresh rate all the way up like this. But you can kind of see it's sort of like choppy almost. Looks cool, but if you're looking for way, way more feedback, you can bring it all the way down. Makes it a lot smoother, and we can bring that average up to eight. You can see it kind of moves a little bit slower. So you can, and you can adjust how many blocks there are too, which is sort of like the resolution on your TV. So we'll reset that back to default there. Uh, the second thing that you might not have known about Ableton's EQ8 is the different modes you can use. So we switch this to left side mode or left right mode. We've got left, right, we can uh, EQ like let's we're going to EQ the low frequencies out of the left ear. And we're going to EQ the high frequencies out of the right ear. Let's see how that sounds. That sounds really bizarre. So let's switch it to mid side mode. So I've told you guys in other videos about stereo image. You can EQ out stuff that's on only on the sides, which is the differences between the left and the right, and the stuff that's in the middle, the mono stuff, the stuff that is exactly the same between the left and the right, which is really handy for just controlling the stereo image of something. Maybe if you're like, maybe you're EQing your bass and you want to cut out the sides out of the the low frequencies so you don't get any crazy weird phasing issues going on in the low end. Well, you could do that here with the mid side EQ, you know, and maybe maybe you're trying to tame a little bit of the mids in the like the ultra high frequencies and only want that to live on the sides. You can, you know, switch it back to the mid mode here and do that right here. We'll just lower that shelf down there. And it, it just it adds a different character to whatever sound you're EQing. And the last tip here is you can select and move multiple points at the same time. Look at this. I can click and move all of these around like this. So sick. Drag it up, drag it down. I didn't know you could do that. I discovered that by accident one day. And it, yeah, it even works when you're just working down here too. You can select them all, move them all around, adjust the scale if you wanted to. Super helpful. So I hope you guys enjoyed the Tuesday quick tip. I'm going to have a bunch of new videos on Ableton 11 coming out real soon because Ableton 11 dropped today. Keep your eyes peeled for that. And don't forget, guys, in the description of this video, there is a download link for my finishing music checklist. Go grab that. It's absolutely free. It helps you. It's just a little checklist I put together to help you guys finish more music. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you on Friday. <laughs>